Gentlemen, welcome to Simulation for the Nation. You are now entering the live stream zone. For the next hour, join us as we work our way through the farming simulator world, field by field. Each and every one of you are a valued member of the SFTN community, so make yourselves known. Join in chat, be nice to each other, but most importantly, leave it all on the field. Let's go! 
What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome along to another live stream with me, Simulation for the Nation. It's been a few days, but we're back. We've got a couple of hours to work on the Oakfield Farm this afternoon, which I am pumped for. But before we get into that, we have got Zach in here, Aaron's here as well, Brendan, hello guys, how are we doing? David Savile, Leila Asp Asprey, Scottish Farmer, Dayton Babcock, welcome guys. Roscoe's here, Nathan's here, Sam Jones is here, Brendan and Rabbit Man, hello folks. How are we all doing? Welcome along. Why don't we just get ourselves stuck right into it there? So, how are we, folks? How is your Monday coming along? What are we all getting up to? Uh, now, if someone could kind of let me know if the volumes are all good, because it's always very loud in my ears anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get jumping straight into Oakfield Farm, uh, where today I do a bit of that and a bit of that. We've got some hay to do. We've got a lot of lot of work to do. Brendan, I am doing fantastically well. How about yourself today? What is new in the world since we last spoke? Um, we've got some wrapping to do, which we're going to finish off. We've got about one, two, three, four, five, maybe six bills to go. Uh, and we'll see how that all goes. Thank you, Elliot. That's very kind of you to say. Uh, now, the reason I am kind of staying this far away from the Deutsch is because it's very loud. Very, very loud indeed. But uh, yes, so volleyball's all good. Perfect, Brendan. I appreciate that one. We are just going to keep this going. Today, we are going to be combining some soybeans, carting some soybeans. We're going to be doing a bit of cultivation. We're going to be wrapping, carting bales, uh, possibly doing a little bit of muck and slurry. Uh, if there's even any time to move after all that, there's a whole other field over there to bale, which you can't quite see for the trees. There we go. But yeah, like I say, one, two, three, four, maybe f half a dozen bales left to go on the wrapper, and then we're good. Uh, so yeah. Aaron, what's going on, buddy? Welcome along. Hope you're doing very well today, whatever you're getting up to. How's your weekend been, folks? Usually I try and get to you on a Sunday. Alas, I had to, I was called to work yesterday, so that wasn't going to happen. But uh, today is a new day, and a new chance to stream. Busy silage at the moment, Brendan? Fantastic. What are you driving? What are you stuck in? I'll just hit my whole desk there. Hey Nathan, what's going on buddy? I just saw you creep in there. Congratulations on what is a staggering number of downloads of Meadow Grove. What's the number you're at now if you don't mind me asking? I hope everyone in chat as well so far, I hope you have all gone across and uh, voted 5 stars for, uh, for Meadow Grove. How's life for me, Elliot? It's going very well, thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say. Uh, no, it's going fantastically. A uh, couple of days off, plenty of time. I've been recording some more Meadow Grove this morning. Uh, I've got a little bit of Oakfield to do after Oakfield. We've got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know. Wow, Nathan. 61,500 on consoles, 32,500 on PC. That is crazy. Grace, nearly a night, nearly a hundred thousand. Good grief! In what a week? Has it been a week? Yes, just a little bit over a week, I guess. That is nuts. Well, you deserve it. I was on 20 with a quick fencer on the front, a poster on the back. Very nice. That's cool. Tommy Riley, what is going on, buddy? Welcome along. How's it all going today? Everyone in the UK, I guess you've got a bank holiday right now, is that correct? Hey, Jim Bob, welcome, welcome. What's going on, bud? You're in the case 240 cart and whole crop, that boy. Alright, so I think that's the last of the wrapper. Oh, one more, maybe. Two more. CD, what is up, buddy? How you doing? How's your little project coming along? How am I, Tommy? I'm doing fantastic. Well, I'm having a great day. Really, really good day thus far. The sun is shining. Everything is good. Everything is good. Anyone new who is watching in the stream here, if you haven't done so, do make sure you come and check us out on Discord. And also a little bit of social media as well on the Facebooks. You're in the 6930 premium with the 18 ton salad trailer? Nice! What kind of uh, forager are you carting off of? Must be something big if you've got 18 tons behind you. 
Alright, last. The bells. We'll leave this once we get this one done. Then we're going to go and put the rake on so the rake can start in the field next door to us here. Um, and then get that done. Then we'll have to put the... We need to get some carting done for these. We'll get the combine going away. Dave sent you Ross Clark. That's fantastic news. Thank you, Mr. Dave. Murray's here. Welcome, Murray. Thank you very much for the kind words. It's very, very kind indeed. Glad you enjoy everything. This Deutz is just a little bit loud. You have a new Holland on the go. Nice, Jim Bob. That's pretty cool. We've got 23 people in here. Let's smash that like button. Let's get us going. Let's see if we can get on the way to 20 likes. And if you are new yet to do so, do smash that subscribe button. You can see we are 18 subscribers away from the big 6,000, which is crazy. Card of Class 870 Forager. Nice, Brendan. If you ever get any photos, do feel free to keep banging them into the old, uh, banging them into the old Discord server. Love to see what's going on there. Now we're a baler and a rake there that we need to split up. I want to put the fence onto a trailer so we can go and cart some soybeans. Uh, and then the John Deere will be on the baler soon enough, I think. Get over there. What do you reckon, guys? Should we do the, the baling of the hay manually, or should we stick it onto follow me and just let the guys go at it? That's great to hear, Elliot. I, I wish I could stream more. I truly, truly do. I'd love to be able to get, like, uh, like VF. Maybe get three or four streams a week consistently on the same day at the same time, but my, um, my life away from the computer just will not allow that, sadly. Yes, let's just, uh... We also need to, I really feel like we need to check in on the cows. We need to see if they're okay. Do you rather baling or foraging? Um, it depends. If I have, if there's a few of us, uh, I love to do, the, do foraging. If it's just me, I'll always do baling because it's a little bit more manageable. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of always my philosophy. Uh, but like I so, say, yeah, if there was, say, me and four or five others, then I would definitely uh, do pit silage, without a question. Ah, that's a good point. I might have to get all checked into iron at one point. Uh, are there any trailed foragers? No, not yet. I don't. Not that I've seen that are any good, at least, which is a pity. Done. Uh -huh. Go. Oh. Would you help out people on the farm if I asked? If I had an Xbox, Kieran, I'd definitely help jump onto that one. The last I have no Xboxes. Sadly, not yet at least. Elliot, no problem at all. Hopefully we'll see you again in here soon. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Oh lord, folks. Mr. Gamer Dragon has arrived. You know what that means, everybody. Strap yourself in. Uh, apply your hard hats. It's going to get messy. And uh, it's all his fault. Finish your school on Thursday for the summer. That's pretty cool, Brendan. That's not bad at all. No. Oh. Been on Meadow Grove too much where I don't actually have a uh, manual attached, so I need to get back into this way of doing this. Oh. 
There we go, attach power take off, jump in. Alright then. So I'm gonna leave this here, we'll jump into the John Deere, get him to follow along behind. Hey Lancey, what's going on bud? How are you doing today? Welcome aboard. Okay, let's just swing this guy around. Take off this star and uh, do this. <clears throat> do I support new YouTubers where I can, Tommy? Yes, where I can. Ha! Very lucky indeed, GD. Hey, it's looking great, Alancy. It's really coming along. Do uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help you with that. How how long are you, do you reckon? You, oh, no, 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 no. How long until you reckon you're done, Lancy? Oh, that'd be sweet. Yeah, I'll definitely have a look at that. Showcase it for you a little bit. Love to do that kind of thing. Been out from 4 a.m. card and pit this half full. Not good for the. Not good for the. Uh... Is that for your first cut only, there, Jim Bob? Might only get a little bit more than that. Oh, you know what we need to do. I'm, I'm jumped ahead of the game here, folks. We need to head this first, don't we? Shoot. Okay. With that news, we'll just park this in here for now. You get through the gateway there. Incredibly, you did. Good lord. Uh, we can do a bit of that. Let's drop off there. Go back and get the tether that we not long off dropped off. It's tethered first. Tester, welcome, welcome. The storms are arriving. Oh no! And there go the Spitfires. Happy days. Hope you got yourself all safely inside. Kevin W, I'm doing very well, thanks. How about yourself today? What's going on in the world? Oh crap, nice Jim Bob. Yeah, hopefully you get a bit more somewhere. Mary's here, hello Mary, welcome, welcome. So what did everyone get up to over the weekend now? How's your long weekend going if you do have one? Again. Hey Harry, what's going on buddy? Welcome aboard. How's your day going? Join us any newcomers, we're just kinda of getting ourselves set up. The combine is in the field ready to crack on with some beans. Uh just wanna get the hired workers doing something in my absence. So that's exactly what's gonna happen here. Darwin Fulliger, thank you ever so much for subscribing buddy, welcome to Simulation for the Nation, I really do appreciate that. No worries Brendan, best of luck with the schoolwork though. We'll be streaming tomorrow as well, a little bit earlier than usual time of 4pm for anyone who wants to come on swing on by. Uh, do make sure you come and check us out then. Hey, hey, what's going on, bud? How you doing? Welcome aboard. Okay, so we'll stick this in the course play. We can do all that. We don't have to worry about it. Jump into the combine. Happy days. Some more work done on this map. Just dropped on some seed on Meadow Grove. Nice, Kevin. How do you find Meadow Grove? It is one heck of a good map. Mm, 
think we started here last time, so we'll do that again. Uh, let's do a bit of that. Silence activated, sick dude. Eight and seven it sounds alright. Perfect. waypoint. Away you go! Good. Good, good, good. A bit tight with the semi-trailer and the man truck. <laughs> Just makes it a little bit more of a challenge is all. Harry, welcome along, buddy. How you doing? Well, welcome to the stream. What's going on in your world today? Uh, all right, let's go and get some beans harvested. I think. Lathy ninety two is here. What's going on, bud? Hope you're doing very well. Um, so yeah, I don't expect to get the world's biggest yield. Need a bigger tether? Yeah, no, no kidding, Jim Bob. Uh, it's a bit further down the list of things I want to get at the moment. So at some point we may, but. Uh, they can hold off a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we'll get the, we'll start with the combine in. For some reason I had in my head that it was a field of barley or wheat, but no, it's, alas it's not, so. What can you do? Hey Mark K, welcome along bud, how you doing? That sounds pretty cool, Dester. Ooh, we'll just go through the driveway. Sorry, lady. So I did in the last stream here, and then at the end of the last stream, we did bring down the combine. Uh, so it's all ready to go. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Really, we might the cut the tractor to follow me, just uh, so we can stick around. Not great. I'm sorry. You hear that, Mark? Everything's good with me, though. Thank you very much. Like that, fantastic. I just finished slurrying and bailing hay on Meadow Grove off camera, uh, some of which may be coming to camera actually. Uh, so keep an eye out for that one. I was just going cast my combine, fire it up. Is there anything getting you through your geography study, farmer boy? I appreciate that very much. Good luck with your studying. So, uh, Alright then. Actually, you know what we'll do whilst we're here? Let's just... Uh, that's definitely not the right word, Heather. And definitely not... Nine. Nine looks good. Ooh, that's nine that works for me. Cool. I did, Jim Bob. Yeah, I saw. Actually, spoke to him a while ago about that. I was lucky enough to see it when he was making it. But uh, a lot of people have been saying it's a new map for 17. I don't think it's ever going to actually arrive for 17, sadly. I think it's very much a private uh, map for his um, private server, I do believe. Which is, it looks fantastic, and he's put a lot of time and effort into it, but I don't think we'll ever see it. 
He's not back, no, Dester. No, not yet. Hey, David Savile's here. What's going on, David? So, uh, Nathan, now that Meadow Grove is done, I know you've got a bit of an update plan for it, but do you have any new projects in mind? Steel's not going to give us much in the way of a yield at all. I think what we might do is just stop the tractor behind me. As you can see it, he's stopping there now. And we'll, by the time we get back around, we'll be able to just dump off a trailer load of thing. It's good grief, this is a poor yield. Have you seen the Green Valley map? I haven't actually, Kieran. No, I need to check that one out. Is it any good? Are there any new mods today? Because usually when I stream, the mods are uh, dumb. Ah, the boy David, I appreciate that, no end. I oh, love it. I spent about three hours on Meadow Grove this morning just doing various different tasks I need to do. Get caught up on the game. PZ Agri, hello bud, what's going on? How you doing? Ah, I see Nathan. What crops would I like to see in the next FS? Good question, Kevin. Um, I would like to see some more root crops, I think. So some more vegetables, maybe. That would be pretty cool. And that's something that's a little bit more kind of, or can certainly be a little bit more global. Uh, I'd like to see a little, I'd also like to see a bit more of an enhancement into how we can handle potatoes, really, because I just don't think that's there right now. Uh, that would be pretty cool. There's another tree behind me. Um, uh, additionally, I would like. What else would you like to see? Uh, I don't know. I think that'll be a good start there. We've obviously got cotton, which I still need to really sink my teeth into, which I might be doing on my American time lapse series that I started up. That was something a little bit different to have a go at. Uh, aside from that, who knows really? Just gotta wait and see. Any Abbey Tankers for PS4? I would be very surprised. I think it's an issue with licensing, unfortunately. Um, I think they're just going to struggle to get those guys on. Um, I hope I'm wrong, but I think it's that's the current issue they're facing. I would like to see a little bit more variation in how you can do certain crops that we have. So for example, like if you look at um, wheat, and barley and canola harvests around the world, it's kind of harvested in different ways. You could do a whole crop, which in theory we could do. Uh, you could do it as a standing crop like this, but also in a lot of large areas of North America, they actually just swath it down first and leave it on the ground uh, to kill out any of the green. Um, so that would be something which would be pretty cool to be able to do if you could just actually have a good swather that works. So there's a few modded options out there, but they don't quite work as we want them to. So that would be pretty nice. Oh, that's a bit of a shame, Nathan. And they're not going to go around chasing licenses for smaller manufacturers, uh, I don't think, at the moment. 22% on the beans. Oh, my Lord. Riddled with weeds and a poor yield, no doubt. You'd like to see more on the animals? Yeah, production animals would be pretty good. If you could do, like, beef, cattle, that'd be awesome. Be actually able to sell off lambs or uh, anything like that would be pretty neat. I don't know how that would work, but yeah, that'd be pretty cool indeed. I'd like to see damage in the next FS. Damage would be damage would be good. It'd be lethal for me at times when I'm streaming. It'd cost me a fortune. Hey, Charlie Criddle, what's going on, bud? How you doing? Nice to have you back on board. Thanks for swinging by this afternoon. Just enjoying your bank holiday? Excellent, other boy. They lost the license for Sammy Tractors. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. We really planted all the way up to the edge here, didn't we? Good God. Oh, 
think 19 is a great... The way I view 19 is the way kind of I look at 15. 15, FS15 was the trial for a few physics and a few features that may be coming into uh, 17 and like new engines and uh, aspects like that and I feel very much the same way about 19. So FS, if, it, if that is indeed the case, FS21 could be an absolute riot. It could be great fun. Also, might be switching out this header at some point because I found a good Macdon header online that I'd like to use instead of this. I think. I'll we'll certainly give it a good go. More machinery and new big brands. What would be the next big brand you would like? Would it be Class when that arrives? That's a Ford. I'm not sure we'll ever get Ford, sadly. That might be a, a whole different ball game. Ivan, what's going on? How are you doing today? Cut grass textures look a little bit weird. That's, please just still enjoy the map, though. Your bank holiday is next weekend, Mary? Nice. That's something to look forward to. They need to add more builds to animals. Yeah, more placeable buildings to animals as well. Pretty awesome. I've got all the way around that headland and 39%. This is not going to end well. We are not making our fortune on this one field, folks. I can tell you that now. Normally stream at 4. I do, Bradley, yes. But I was speaking to Landy Kid last night and he said he wasn't going to be streaming today, so I could take his slot. And uh, work a little bit longer. Is it in hot air? It is not CD, no. Regular old week uh, this week. Fortunately for me, I have Monday off anyway, though, so that's all good. Uh, we could get a class DLC. You know, you might not be wrong there, Kevin. I'd hope we do. That'd be awesome. Really cool. We've got like a, a good Arian 650, a Tele Handler, and a, a Lexin or two would be pretty cool. Maybe a, a Jaguar. That'd be pretty nice. Yeah, this header doesn't quite function properly for me on this uh, combine. Hey, Minnesota Oliver and Deer, welcome along. How, how's it going over there? How's the weather down in Minnesota? I don't really know why I'm emptying this at uh, so little in, but we'll do it anyway. Daniel, you really like Metal, metal Grove? It really is. I uh, tomorrow I will be streaming at the usual time of 4 p.m. where we will be coming live with the um, coming live with Metal Grove. So there's lots to do on Metal Grove tomorrow, so do come and check out that. How am I doing? I'm doing very well, thank you, Minnesota. Very well indeed. Still wet and rainy down there. I'm watching a lot of uh, MN Millennial Farmer at the moment, and he's really struggling to get in the fields at the moment. It does look like. We do get a class, it could be the last DLC. Who knows, Kevin? Who knows? Um, I don't think we'll get a DLC for a while, given that the horse pack just came out recently, then the Holmer pack came out, and the Anderson DLC, so... The next DLC might be for a little touch. Seasons may well be a while out there as well, yeah. I'll have to wait and see on that one. I hope we get Seasons soon, because Seasons is a real game changer. 
We got 32 people in here right now. 34 people. Welcome along, everyone. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. If you've yet to do so, do smash that like button. Let's see if we can get up to 25 likes. That'd be cool. And if you haven't done so and you are new to the channel, do join Darwin Fulliger, who just subscribed. Come and join the family. See if we can get to 6,000. 6,000 subscribers is crazy. Imagine 6,000 people in one room. They said there'll be six DLCs. Really, Jimbo? That's pretty cool. I wonder if they class like the Horse Pack as a DLC or not. Because mm, if they don't, then you've got the Anderson DLC, that's one. Would the Homer be a DLC? I guess so. Two. Why did I want to do YouTube, Daryl Lynch? I just enjoyed making content, really. And I was kind of playing in the same manner that I am now, and I thought, why not? There's no... There wasn't really anyone who was kind of doing role plays when I started, to any degree, so I thought, why not give it all a go? And then the streaming kind of happened. That's cool, Mary. Missed a bit. Let's get that bit. That combine track got it. So we'll take these headlands off then, we'll see what other jobs we can get into just to keep mixing up a little bit. Uh, I've got... We need to... we can stack in some of those bales as well, that needs to be done. We need to find where the big fence is and... I'll come back over here. Put that drill into the big fence, I think, next. Ah, oh, that sucks, Minnesota. What's my favourite tractor? I am a Massey man at heart. Uh, my preferred Massey would be a 6480 uh, Mark II, ideally. Uh, if anybody would like to... Um, Mark II or Mark I. If anyone would like to make one of those, of course, I would never complain. But uh, I think they're a really good little tractor. Very nice indeed. Hey Liam, what's going on buddy? How you doing? Hello boy Daryl, MS for the win. Don't listen to whatever Mr. Virtual Farmer says. It's definitely all about the Massies and not about the not about the New Hollands. Do you like 390Ts? I do, yeah. Have not opposed to those at all. You never know Kevin. That would be pretty sweet. That would be pretty sweet indeed. A 4840 John Deere. I love that 40 series John Deere. It's a great machine. All of the 1950 L Toro. I have to check out what one of those look like. What type of farming is it like where I am now? Um, big. Big farming. Um, much the same with a lot of arable, a lot of livestock, just as it is over in the UK. Uh, just on a much bigger scale, really. Uh, so. A lot of the equipment you see is just huge. Everything's bigger than 10 meters, 12 meter, 24 meter drills. Um, huge, huge crawlers. So huge, big John Deere crawler like uh, HRTs, uh, 9Rs as well. A lot of Case Tigers, quad tracks, that kind of thing. All big, but all the same crops for the most part. Uh, oilseed rape, a lot of corn. A lot of, uh, there is some wheat in places, but a lot of beans as well. Kind of pretty much it. Slowly giving up on, the F on FS? That's not the way to go, Liam. Oh, a massive pack Mary. Now you're talking my language. I have Minnesota, yes. Yeah, I'm, I was look, watching his videos this morning on, uh, now he's down in, uh, in North Carolina. Uh, that's pretty cool to see that he's finally able to get going down there. I see a new Huntier here in the UK. Oh, nice, Jim Bob. They're pretty big, pretty beastly machines. Why did it miss a bit right there? It must have been thrown. 
That's pretty cool. I'm really interested to see how his whole the whole straw job he's working on completes actually, see how it how it pans out. Kind of all seem to happen in a hurry really. Hey Aaron Dubin, what's going on buddy? Welcome along, how's it going today? So what we might well do That's pretty cool Minnesota. Very cool indeed. Uh, I am going to strip off one more headland down this end. Uh, do the same at the top end and then hired worker can just kind of trundle along and get this field done. I think. And then we can go and jump on and get some other jobs done. I want to take care of the cattle today so I want to feed them up. In fact, what are they looking like? Sometimes it takes my menu an awfully long time to open. There we go. Hey, that'd be pretty cool, Minnesota. That'd be really cool. Does anyone else's menu in game slow down a bit? Ooh. We need to feed some animals here. Do we ever? So that's exactly what we'll do next. We'll get this uh, combine set away, and then we'll go and focus on some animals. By taking off this little strip at this end here, we're just going to give them a little more, give our combine driver a little more space to turn in. Keep them happy. That how farms work there, yeah, that'd be a pretty good one to go do. Never thought about that actually. It's a little bit of a, a drive for me, but never say never. Hope you see uh, JD, that'll be pretty cool. Hey, farming man Rickus, what's going on, bud? What wheel am I using? I'm using a Logitech G29. In my mind, one of the best wheels out there. Uh, how will it? 36%, good grief. There's really not a lot in here. As you can see, in the distance there, we've got a new straw facility, so we've got a shed there. It's about half full with straw at the moment. Uh, the plan that will be to try and fill that where possible and then sell all that to the power station. I want to see more wildlife. If we could actually see the deers, that would be pretty funky. I'd like to see those. Deers are always good, something like that. I like the birds, so the integration of the birds are pretty cool. I feel there's no such thing called Massey. No, that's very true. Uh, squeaking noise? Not yet, no. Uh, mine is new though, and obviously I'm guessing Dagwins is a bit older. Uh, no squeaking noise yet, so I'll keep an eye out for that. Hey, Orange Devil! Welcome along, bud. How's it going today? Not a great deal so far. We've got ourselves got some cosplay working. We're about to just do the far headland here. And then we're going to set Combine away as well. Uh, what are we even going to do? Plot in a new GPS course. Uh, and then we're going to leave this and then we need to go and tend to the cattle, they're looking like they need some attention. We need some help to our cows. Yeah, straighter, I wouldn't say it's straight, but it's straighter. 
and this is a very dismal crop of beans. Do another mod hub video? Oh, like another mod review video? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting to see another good one come through. That'd be quite nice. I thought there might have been some mods uploaded today, but it doesn't appear like we've had them. Let me see if we can just click back. Put there. Yes. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. Windows, I'm using Windows 10. Hey, some gaming, what's going on, buddy? How are you holding up? Like I said, we're just going to take this strip off the edge here. And then, kablamo, we will set this away. Oh, I'm missing the load. Does cosplay only work on some maps? It should work on all of them, Orange. It just depends if how... If you can't get to work on recognizing fields, for example, it means that the map field definitions haven't been set up properly. Uh, so that when it tries to scan to find the field, it just can't pick it out. I'm doing very well, thank you SG, very well indeed. Hey Richard, what's up bud? How's it going over here? Uh, let's see where it's going to be. There we go. So, right now we're just going to go to that. Found. So I hear Richard, that's great to hear. It's great news, glad it was uh, useful for you. Actually, need to jump into the cab, not over it. Now, which will, with the minuscule amount of beans we'll have, we will go and empty the combine tank again. I wouldn't be all that surprised if that combine was able to finish the field on the whole tank, but we'll see. Hey, Robert the Farm UK, welcome along. How you doing? What's going on today? And around we go, let's chase down that combine. Do I watch uh, Rich Cavena? I do not, I don't know who that is. Just stole the Offend 1050. Oh, nice, Kieran, what are, you, what are you replacing it with? This. Nice and wide. We will just empty this as much as possible and then just leave the combine to go and do its thing. Uh, at which point I'm sh fairly confident there's not a great deal here. It should be able to get up pretty much all done. You got an 8400R? Well, that's pretty neat. I like that. It's a, a bold move. Uh, no, yeah, that will do me. Thank you kindly. We're going to just tip this into the bins. It's not worth uh, jumping all the way over in the silo or the grain store with this. Can't wait for seasons. I know it's gonna be great. Really miss seasons with the lighting engine. It's gonna be great when we get that to come through. Let's just tidy this up for the combine driver. Whoop! Miss, miss, miss. There we go. It is, oh, I'm concentrating on the chat. It's meant to be Rich Caving. Still don't recognize that name, Mary. What do they do? What do they do? Uh, I'm assuming it's on YouTube. Blues Traders come to Xbox. Uh, Mr. CD 4D Modern was in here uh, a few minutes ago. I know that I think he was trying to get it as a Lizard brand, um, but maybe he can confirm that. Certainly the flat trailer was going in as Lizard, I believe. the corner we 
we go. So yeah, we're gonna actually unhook the trailer here, and then we'll tip it first, then we'll unhook it because I want to just make sure we get all the livestock work done. It's gonna take a lot of feeding for those guys. I think there's about 90 cattle at the moment, so they're gonna require quite a bit. Hey, Tig, welcome along. I sings ah, then no, I definitely don't know who he is. Now, and somewhere in here is a diet feeder. I feel like it's going to take an awful lot to fill this diet feeder. Tighten up jobs to do around here. The more I look at it, the more I realize what we need to do. Like move that bell chaser out of the way and stack that straw up a bit better. One trap in, good grief. Of a crop overload and spillage mod. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I don't know quite how that would work, but I definitely agree with you there, uh, Dester. You'd like to see seasons in the base game, but definitely, Kevin. Oh yeah, never know. I think the problem with that is sometimes if you look at uh, if you look at FS17 for example, or FS19 for example, they've changed up quite a lot to do with the the script. So it's a lot of redevelopment they have to kind of uh, add in. Do I have model tractors? I don't anymore. I think they're probably still at my parents' house somewhere. I used to have a lot. I used to have loads. Don't have any more though, sadly. That's a bit of a straw. Yeah, I don't know how much it's going to take here, we'll have to see. A lot, I think, is the answer, sadly. How many cattle have you all got in your save games at the moment? I think I'm around about 91 at the moment, which is quite a lot to feed. A lot of mouths to feed, that's for sure. There you are, Jimbal. What did I just hit there? Not sure, but did not like it. Oh, we also got all that muck to get rid of. We've got a lot of work to do around the yard here. You have 50 cows? That's nice. That's a good number. Let's just get that up around it first.
Meadow Grove's a great map to have a lot of cows because there's so much grass they can attack. Fifty on Meadow Grove, three hundred and fifty on New Woodshire. Good grief, that's all the cows. See how we're looking there. Any seven? That's too bad. We can go in with that and start at least. Uh, we're gonna go this way. Probably have some milk to sell here soon as well. Although they haven't had any. Uh, if they haven't had any food for a while, the doubtful is going to be much milk left. Boy, this game show has changed since 2011. Oh, no kidding. No kidding, it has. and the muck there again to shift. Let's just pour this into here for now. How many cows do we have? Kieran, we have 91. You'd like to get 600 Metagrove, of David. That would be so much grass. So we just made 20,000 litres there. Uh, it's just all going to pour into one spot because it's, uh, it's part of the muck in the way. But, uh, when that's all in, let's see how little it's changed the percentage. Now you want, so that's 20,000 litres and we've probably got 10% I think on the food. Good God. Oh, we'll do one more. That can go for a little bit. The we need water as well. Uh, a little bit maybe. Hey, Mikey Todd, what is going on, my guy? How are you doing today? Well, welcome to the stream. How many hours? Do you know it's a great question? I don't actually know. Um, I don't have it on Steam, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, but it, you can safely assume it is a lot of hours. How about that? All of the hours. I want to turn on the mixer wagon. Let's pull that down because it's been parked the wrong way. Oh, the Deutz has finished heading hay, which means we can get it onto the rake. Get it going from there. Hey, Ben King, what's going on, bud? Welcome along. How are you doing today? Uh, do you know when Milgrove's coming out for Xbox One? Ben King, it is. You are in luck. It is out now. Uh, it was out about a week ago, so you can go and jump onto the store, uh, onto the mod hub in game, and then you, I think you just have to select all mods and you'll be able to find it there. But it is 100%, it is definitely out right now. So get after it quickly, you don't want to miss too much more game time. You've already missed a few days. There we go. 
How much is this game, Kyle? It depends on what platform, but I think... Um, I re off the top of my head, I really wouldn't be able to tell you, actually. Uh, what what platform would you be looking to purchase it for? I think if you... Uh, and where are you buying it? Are you... Whereabouts in the world are you? And we might be able to get you a better figure. Give you an idea when it was new. Uh, when it was brand new, I think I paid about $40 for it. Canadian. No worries, Ben King. Appreciate that. Do I use growth control? M Sun, what? We. Um, I do not. I use. Um, I just kind of play around with the time, game time, and game time. I uh, think make. Uh, kind of give the feel that it's taking a little bit longer to grow. But yeah, I don't use any mods for it now. Twenty pound in UK. There you go. Hey, pa! Welcome, welcome. How do I get the blue string on the bill? So that is part of the forgotten fruit texture pack that gives you, or forgotten plants, I think it is. All of the textures, everything is new in game, so it makes it a little bit different, which is pretty cool. It is indeed on Steam, yeah. And if you buy it on Steam, Kyle, you'll be able to. Uh, uh, log all of your game hours and keep the track of things like that. Hey Brendan, I'm doing very well, thank you. Adrian Noor, hello bud, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing very well today. Uh, let's get a couple of bales in here. What time am I finishing? Anywhere between um, anywhere between eight and nine. Probably aiming for around half eight, maybe a little bit later. We'll see how it goes. So a while yet. Let's put it that way. You got FS19 for Christmas. That's awesome. Thank you, Kyle. I really do appreciate that. Welcome to the notification squad, as they say, apparently. You have over a thousand hours already, Kevin. That is awesome. Which map has the most hours on, do you know? Very curious about that. Okay, so we'll get this load done. And then what we might also do is just get rid of this bale of straw here and just stick it straight in. Just come back from Norway, Adrian. Cool, what were you doing out there? I love Norway. We've got 33 people watching. How many likes do we have, guys? What are we on? Most of them on Meadow Grove. Jeez, that's impressive already. That's really impressive. And you got your PS4 as well. Hey, that's a great Christmas right there. Uh, no, I can't remember which one these go into, so... Oh. Might even be that one, you know. We'll try both. Yeah, that's fine now. Negative. Hey, Paul, what's going on? How you doing? That was a heck of a, a news announcement yesterday and today, huh? Good grief, I was not expecting that. Still can't quite believe it. Did you tell? You need to blow the straw? Ah, well, it's going to stay there. Need to buy a straw blower for that first. 
can stay there for now. Okay, so let's just leave this guy here. Around the corner, get that fence set away, and then we'll go and quickly swap the dogs around so it's actually on the tether instead on the rake instead, and then we can start bailing. What news? Kieran, Paul, and myself are Newcastle United fans, and there's big news that we might finally be getting rid of our chairman that we don't like. Which is quite something, so it's uh, it's not FS news. It's uh, it's nothing exciting on that stand, but it is pretty major news for anyone who supports Newcastle. Kevin White! Thank you, pardon. Kevin W, that's very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. Ha 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 I'm long suffering over here, here. Apparently so, Paul. Yeah, I just read a tweet before I uh, went live. Nuts! Absolutely nuts. Okay, so that's going to give them a little bit more to work with there. And uh, notice that we still haven't heard that the combine is full. That was a dismal, dismal crop of soybeans. Is it still going? Let's find out. Looks like it. Yeah, so for those of you who are interested, there will be another episode of Meadow Grove arriving tomorrow. Which will be cool, do make sure you check that one out when it arrives. We'll be dropping it at the same usual time. Drop this off, then I'm actually going to unload the rest of those bales, because we're going to need that bale chaser in a moment or two. What other games do I have? Right now, the other PC games I am playing, Mary, are um, Do It Rally 2.0, which I'm doing very badly at, but I'm trying to learn to be a better rally driver. Um, Battlefield. And then I have Euro Truck and Train Sim, which I haven't played for an eternity. In fact, I don't even think Train Sim is installed. Exactly, Paul. Could you imagine? Just with Rafa at the helm and actual money to compete with the big boys. Good lord, that just seems crazy. Absolutely crazy. You're playing FS17 Metal Grove Farm? That's still gloriously good, uh, Minnesota. It's a heck of a heck of a game. Hey, I've just noticed we are now 15 subscribers away from our sub goal. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. You have Dirt Rally as well. It is the graphics on Dirt Rally. The last rally game I played would have been Colin McRae Rally, I think. Those of you old enough to remember that one, that was quite a while ago. Um, and yeah, that was really, really good. But yeah, the, the graphics, the, the step up in the graphics are nuts. And playing with a wheel is just so much more challenging. Do you have an Xbox One? I do not, unfortunately. No Xbox yet. Yeah, I think you're not far off being wrong there, Paul. Not far off at all. Uh, stop here.
There we go. Do I play Car Mechanic? I've never actually played Car Mechanic. No, I've yet to get onto that one. Uh, maybe one day I will, but I've yet to kind of make my way across. TJ Gohan, what is going on my guy? Thank you ever so much. That's very kind of you, dude. If for some unknown reason, and I don't know why, you must have been living under a rock perhaps, but if you've yet to go and check out Mr. DJ Gohan, do please go and subscribe to his channel. He is crushing it over there. Perhaps if you, you get all your realism fix from maybe myself and VF, um, go and just let it all go with DJ. Much, much more fun over there. HC, what is going on? Welcome along, how you doing? Gonna subscribe on your phone? That'd be awesome. One more video! One more video! I hear you, brother. I'm trying to do the same, but it's uh I procrastinate. I procrastinate very, very well. Come on, connect already. You connected? Yes. There we go. I think procrastination is absolutely my favourite and strongest ability. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go and get the joints. Get that one cracking. My little rally, rally driver speed here. There we go. Ah, oh, you missed bits. Oh. And what a map, eh, DJ? What a map. Absolutely love Metagrove. I spent, like I was saying, I spent about three hours doing off-camera work on Metagrove today for the next video, and it just doesn't tire. I just don't get bored of doing it. It's the only map where, if I need to spend four, five, six hours doing off-camera work, whatever that may be, I'll happily get through it. Just kind of chill out and get cracking. Well, guess who didn't set the width up properly for the GPS? That would be me. You've tried the Flegel 210 autoload build trailer, but it glitches out. Oh no, I've got that downloaded, I've yet to actually have a look at that. Need to get onto that at some stage. So we're going to fly through this and then we can rake it. Makes you want to sit down and forget everything. You know it DJ! That's the best way to go. It's what farm sims made for. Get a map that you can just lose yourself in and then before you know it... Oh, I've spent about five hours cultivating. Good. That's the way it should be. If I manage to, I don't know if I rake this up, if it would still rake it as a hay swath or those bits of the grass swath. Dude looks like Newcastle shirts getting that way. <laughs> if I fiddle with the contrast a bit, I could make that happen for real. Speaking of farms and news, have there been any new mod updates today? Usually we'll see if something come through. When are you next playing Metagro Farm, Ben King? I will be next on Metagro Farm on tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. GMT. So Frank will be back with you. Just kicking and relaxing without giving too much away. I watched a great stream last night of DJ on Meadow Grove, that was some good fun. No new mods? Boo!
<laughs> and that brings me back to procrastination, DJ. <laughs> DJ, you you'll remember what in The Simpsons years ago when Homer worked from home and you got a like an automatic um, ostrich that you should just peck on like, a key to keep him pressing yes. Get one of those and just keep pressing refresh on your on your keyboard and then when the mods come through, you're golden. See, giants do this, you'll have no mods today, and it's like, what is it now, it's ten past three with me here now on the east coast, so it's ten past eight in the UK, so you think, alright, that's it, no mods, no mods today, and then in like two hours time there'll be a handful of them coming through. And there'll suddenly be like ten mods landing at like ten o'clock uh, central European time or something. Makes absolutely no sense. I'm surely they're, sure they're doing it just to troll us all at this stage. We are! 14 subs away from our sub goal. Whoever has this subscribed, I truly do appreciate that. I don't see it. You must have your notifications turned off, but thank you ever so much. That is fantastic. If only you were that easy. <laughs> Ah, oh, I feel stupid looking at these stripes. I'm going to do this one and then we're going to just call it. If there's any left, there's some left and we'll figure that out later. And I can get, it's because I'm not at work today, it's because I'm at home in front of my computer and I could realistically do a mod review and or post something about the mod. The second I start work, the second I leave my house, all of the mods arrive. New DLC coming soon? Interesting. What do you reckon it'll be, Kevin? Have they announced as to when it might be? PJ, that's awesome news. Uh, let's. We'll just dump this tether up here. Then we can get started with the bail. I've just broken the edge of the tether. Oopsies. Oh, I see. That makes a bit of sense. I like the idea that they're, they're working towards with the. Uh, the change up of the FSL though, a little red v blue is always a pretty cool idea. I like the fact that it's not just going to be bail stacking this time. As much as the bail stacking has its uh, appeal. Manual attack is really got a good pencil. Really got to be in the right place to get this manual attack to work. Come on, there you go. And then. Look at the way on that! Hang on, hang on. Let me not look a little better. There we go. Will it be all platforms? You know what, Kevin W? I have no idea actually on that front. Hopefully. I always hope everything's on all platforms. Okay. 
Okay, so what we'll do... Stop you about that. Come here to me, cosplay. I'm just gonna play it safe, we're gonna make like 8 meters. Catch you later DJ, thanks for stopping by bud, we'll see you in the next one wherever that may be. What's your favourite tractor on that map? Uh, this map, PJ, out of the tractors that I have on here, I would say it's probably the vent I'm using actually. I do like that vent. Uh, okay. Let's see how that <laughs> Go. Uh, now we're working. There we go. My only one concern, which I'm going to stay with this, just to make sure it gets around that muck heap. Right, so it's 20 past 3, 20 past 8 in the UK. We're going to go for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes at the very least, see what we can get going uh, before we do anything else. So let's just stop the driver here, go around the muck heap rather than straight over because that doesn't work well for anybody. Around, around, around. And then you can, you can continue. As you will see. Hey, uh, Kevin, I don't know which mod you're talking about there, actually. I'm not too sure. do this is the plan this is the plan we're going to take the green trailer down to down to the combine keep that going I'm sure it's probably almost finished but we'll see and then after that we'll come back up we'll finish up around the yard here I think get some bales cartel in maybe do some good stuff I don't have that one I might have to have a look at that actually If that combine tank is actually full, I will be amazed. Amazed! Contractor mod, right, I see what you mean. Um, I do have it, I don't really use it. If I'm honest, I get a, I can do everything I need to do without it, to be honest. What are you having in the background? Just to kind of give a little bit of background uh, ambiance, a little bit of something different. Hey, Connor, what's going on, my guy? Welcome along. How are you doing today? You waffle, incredible. Well, we're going to leave you here, so you have a trailer to fill up. Would not have seen that coming.
Wait. Way too close. Right then. And then we'll let the hide worker just crack on, get finished off. They're drawing silos with a fast track 2170. Hey, that's a nice machine to be in. That's a really nice little machine to be in. Okay, and away we go. So yeah, we'll probably go for another five minutes or so, I think. Uh, I don't quite like it. My voice is actually starting to go, so I want to protect that. I will be back streaming tomorrow. We're going to be doing plenty of different work on there on Meadow Grove tomorrow. So do make sure you swing by and come check that one out. Uh, and yeah, we'll see just what we can get, what trouble we can get into there. So that'll be pretty cool. Otherwise, right now we're going to just beat along around to uh, to the yard where we'll put that bale carrier around. Just go and get some hay brought in, I think. We'll probably go and start in the field which the bale in, in actually, just so we can clear the bales on the headland and stop the crashing into himself. Because that's always important. If we kind of bomb along here, it's probably a little bit too far higher speed. You have a 22 ton sack brought on trailer and like, nice. Hey Connor, if you've yet to and you would like to, join that Discord server and stick some pictures into there as well, because I always like to see what setup people are driving. Hey Colm, what's going on bud? How you doing? Welcome aboard. around. Yeah, we'll probably go and start in the field at the bailing, I think, and then we'll just clear those bales out the way. What's my real name? Oh, that is a secret. It's a big secret. too much about these ones, but I'll take these two anyway. Look at like the flying one over there. I think I'm cracking through. So if I take all of these on the edges there, then when they come to you turn, Life will be a little bit sweeter. Do I have Snapchat? No, but I actually do just, I have to start to use Instagram again. So my Instagram account has been pretty on fire since, uh, 
uh, for the last week or so. If you haven't joined so or uh, you haven't joined and you want to join, it is s.f.t.n and you can come and join along and see what's going on. Um, post daily about any new mods, videos, streams, the works. And sometimes when I'm just doing off camera work, I'll um, post some pictures up of what I'm doing as well. So there's always quite a lot going up there. So make sure you come and check that one out. Same logo as is on all my other content right now, so you'll be able to recognize when it's me. And yeah, and just kind of keep up to date. Ooh, ooh, that was close. Hey, Robin, what is going on? I appreciate that, Connor. Hello, the boy. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Snapchat at the moment, actually. It's a very easy way for me just to kind of put content up there and see how it's all kind of going along. I do purple Volvo, yes! YouTube is not my job. Uh, it would be pretty cool if I was successful enough to make it my job, but no. I have another job, which limits me as to how much I can do, sadly. I wish I could do a lot more YouTube than I can, but I just do not have the time. Uh, unfortunately, I'm actually not allowed to say. I have to sign an agreement of my job to say that I won't talk about it. Which is a shame, because it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to go into too much detail about that. Can I buy a JCB for this map? That's a good question. Uh, maybe at some stage, yeah. I could always fit one of those in. One day your dream will come true. With any luck, purple. With any luck. That would be pretty special if it did. I thought it would be thanks to you guys if it did, because uh, you are the guys who kind of... You're the ones who subscribe, you're the ones who make it possible. Ooh. I need a couple more. No, I'm good. It's slipping. What you crushed into yourself? Where are you even? It looks like you crushed into yourself. Good. Isn't it great, Nora? It's really, really cool. Welcome along, by the way. Very nice load mechanism on this one. Very nice indeed. Uh, I got that all wrong. Let's just, let's just do that again, shall we? Perfect. Oh, we've had another subscriber. I don't know who you are because I don't get your notifications, but thank you ever so much for joining Simulation for the Nation. That is fantastic. Very much appreciated. Do I live in the farm purple? I used to, once upon a time. Uh, used to live and work on one up until about uh, what we now, 11, 12 years ago. Uh, miss it. I really do miss it. Now, all of this hay is going to go into here. Uh, but we're just going to... We're going to actually unload it here and then just load it in manually. Whether we do that on camera or not, I don't know. Dara240, what is going on, bud? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Now, we will be having a busy day on Meadow Grove tomorrow. There's a Dairyman's Diary episode arriving first thing in the morning. And then after that, there will be another episode. Jamie Branson, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Welcome to Simulation for the Nation. Uh, then there will be a live stream tomorrow afternoon at 4 p.m. GMT. Um, what's that, 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, where we will be back on Meadow Grove again. So plenty to keep caught up on.
Ooh, ooh. Do I like John Deere? I do actually, Connor, yeah. Really don't mind them at all. Especially some of the older John Deere's. I really do like those guys. They're pretty darn cool. Uh, do you know what? We'll keep going for a little bit longer. I'm enjoying myself. See what carnage the uh, Deutz and John Deere are in. Let's just sort those guys out. I do like this fence though. I really do like this fence driving. Do you watch Grassman? Do you know what I do, Connor? I actually watched the, the YouTube video this morning on the Kramer Teddy Handler. Catch you later, PJ. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one, hopefully. When is Meadow Grove live stream? Scorpion King. It is going to be tomorrow at 4 p.m. I'm going to schedule the stream pretty much after the uh, uh, pretty much after this stream today. I'm going to schedule tomorrow, so it will be 4 p.m. GMT tomorrow. Welcome to farming. I'm in with my sheep, listening to you. Ah, oh, it's fantastic. Welcome, welcome. What are you doing with the sheep right now? Yeah, look at the animation on that. Bell goes up. Incredible. What do you think of the T5? Oh, that was a really nice looking machine. That was beautiful. And then I loved the like the new T. What was it T8 that they had in, in uh, T uh, T25 colours? That was pretty cool. Glad to hear it, PJ. We'll see you then. Got milk at 4 in the morning. Jeez, Ben, get some sleep. Good heavens. That's way too early to be getting up if you're still awake now, in my mind. Good luck with that, and we will see you later on. I appreciate that. Welcome to farming. I really, really do. Glad to have you on board. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. The problem of I shouldn't have ran the the two tractors that close together. Hang on. EJ, what's going on? Welcome along. How are you holding out? It's been a while. just because it's going to screw up otherwise. So, let's go out here. Good afternoon, Lunatic Calm. Welcome along, how you doing? Thanks for stopping by, hope all is good. When will the stream be over? Do you know what? I was going to end it uh, five minutes ago, but I'm enjoying myself. So we're going to keep going for a few more minutes, I think. Or shortly, if I get this one sorted out. Let's do that. 
I see the John Deere 6400 model. I haven't found one yet. Not, not in the notes at least. Not so we'll keep looking. Tomorrow the Dairyman's Diary will be coming out first of all at uh, 8 a.m. Eastern, which will be 1 p.m. GMT. That's when it's first going to la uh, launch. It's just the uh, the mainly the volume for the the Deutz and that John Deere because the way it was kind of set up. EJ. Jamie Branson, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna go on the course play as soon as I'm happy that it's not gonna bang, bang into each other again. Which should be about now. So we're gonna leave this be. Perfect. Go. Uh, and uh, we've got two. We've got plenty of bales left. We're just going to pick up these bales that are on the edge here. Top! Hey, Beast Mode, what is going on, buddy? How's it going today? Uh, this one. Missed him, missed him, missed him. Can I buy a 7618? Just always keep a fresh tractor. I don't have enough money on, on Dairyman's side to buy that. I've got to keep all the old machines, sadly. I'm, I don't know if there is a good 7618 actually on there. That. No worries, ball catch later, bud. Keep an eye on uh, Sky Sports News, won't you? What we'll do just to be on the safe side, give that a little tap. Little one. <laughs> Hi, boy, Paul. Well, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Cool. Right, and away we go. So, with that, I think we will leave it here right now, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching. I've got a few things to do, and my voice is really starting to to go I need to save it for some more recording so with that thanks ever so much for watching everyone I hope you have enjoyed if you have as always don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to simulation for the nation if you've yet to do so already and we will see you tomorrow when we're back on Meadow Grove to do some more off-camera work uh, brand new episode of Dairyman's Diary coming out tomorrow as I mentioned do make sure you check that one out and we'll see you then until then though have a great rest of your bank holiday enjoy what you're doing and we'll see you in the next one